So I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the CT scans of my skull from both before my surgery on my forehead and after as uh, I recently got a new CT scan as we're thinking about we're doing some work on my chin and the initial CT scan did not include that. So let's take a look. Now you can see here, this is a side view of my cranium before surgery, and you can see the very large forehead bulge that was my sinus cavity. Um, it's interesting, you know, before you realize what's going on, on the inside, you think it's all just bone, but actually it's kind of a pocket. Now if we look at it from the side, um, so this is going through the side view, and you can see how it opens up there for the brow. Let's zoom in on that. And so as we go through the side view, you can see this is the area, my brow, as we go through, it starts to open up. And this is a rather large aerated sinus that I have. This is the brain area, of course, skin, subcutaneous fat. So it was a pretty, pretty significant pocket, uh, which makes, you know, a really big deal when you modify it, as I have had done. This is from the front. So this is entering the forehead, the brow. You can see the nose. That's the aeration area. So looking at it from the front, there's the large aeration area in the brow, and going back. Pretty significant. So you can see, it makes a really big difference in terms of the overall profile of my face. And there's a fairly large aeration there, so it was, there was a lot they could do. For sure. This is from the front. Kind of harder to see. from the bottom. I don't think that's going to be a whole lot of help. But there it is. There's the... brow that was shifted through the sinus. So I had a level 2 sinus cavity shift. Let's take a look at what it looks like post-op. So I got another CT scan done because I wanted to 
So I'm looking at modifying my chin here, and uh, I don't know. It'll just be a little, it'll be minor, I think. It won't be significant, but that's about it. So here's the other view. Let's see here how much my profile has been radically changed. What had come way out here is now smooth and rounded back here. And then you can see all this area in here was shifted a little bit. And I've got some titanium plates to hold me, ladder plates to hold me together. So there's, this is the new sinus cavity, through there. And here's the side view. And that's what the new sinus cavity looks like. Radically different. You can see how these pieces of bone haven't really healed in yet. I've taken a piece of bone and shifted it back. And so it's nearly flat now in that location. Here we have the 3D view. As you can see as it shifts around, this is radically different. Give me the overall. So you can see portions of it are healed, but most of it still has a ways to go. Some of it's been pushed back a little bit. I mean, a lot. it's all been pushed back a lot, but it's a radically different profile. So... That gives you a better idea with the 3D shape, what's going on there. Significant, really significant. It's amazing what they can do. So as you can see, it's a radically different profile, and um, 
It's amazing what can be done with modern medicine today. Don't you think? So I thought I would share this with you if anyone who's interested in having this surgery wants to see what actually happens and um, what the outcome is like. Here you are. I assume if you're following this channel you've seen my other videos on FFS. So um, if not, please uh, check the link above and um, you can see the whole process that I've gone through. May you be well. May you be blessed. May you be joyous. May you be filled with unconditional love for all beings. May you be truly at peace. May you be truly enlightened. Aloha.